So we're going to work on example two, which is all about converting between 12 hour time and 24 hour time. So if we look at question A, we want to convert 3.15 a.m. to 24 hour time. And we can look back at the table that we have. We know that 3 a.m. is the same as 300 hours. And so because this is a.m., it basically means that the 24 hour time is going to look the same as the 12 hour time. So this one's 3.15, so the 24 hour time is 03.15. And it's very important you put the zero at the beginning because 24 hour time must always be four digits. So we just put a zero at the beginning to make it work. All right, now the next one is 0030 and, and they want you to convert this 24 hour time into 12 hour time. So just a quick reminder, what does the zero zero mean at the beginning? Well, the zero zero at the beginning means it's 12 midnight or 12 a.m. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that to 12.30 and we're going to put a.m. at the end of it because that's 12.30 in the morning. All right, now let's look at the next one. We're going to convert 2.45 p.m. to 24-hour time. Now, we mentioned earlier that if it's p.m., and we want to convert it to 24 hour time, we need to add 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, all right, what's 2 plus 12? And 2 plus 12 is 14. And then we've got the 45. So we just write 45 after it. And we don't need to write PM. And let's just have a quick look at it. 2.45 PM on our table. 2 PM was 1400. Therefore, it would be 1445. Uh, last of all, we want to convert 24 hour time to 12 hour time, and this is 2239. So, this is definitely PM because anything beyond 1200 hours is in the PM time, which means for this one, we've actually got to subtract 12 from it. 22 minus 12 is 10, so it'll be 10. 39 and this is p.m. All right, and you can have a quick look at the table 2239. We can see that 2200 hours is the same as 10 p.m. So the 22 would turn into a 10. 